Now I'm going to show you how to strip and crimp a wire. First thing you need to do is to look at the connector and see how much metal you're actually going to be crimping. You can look inside to see on this particular one, it's this length right here. So that's how much you wanted to strip off. Then you take your wires, hold them together very closely, stick them in until both of them hit the piece here. Make sure that there's no extra pieces inside here. You can see this was inside and I dropped it out. Um, so just put the two wires, make sure both of them are touching the yellow plastic part, and then just pull. And it will give you two very nice stripped ends. Next, you want to twist the ends to make sure there aren't any little tiny pieces of wire sticking out to the side. Now, to actually crimp our connector, we take the crimpers, put the part inside like this, and crimp down just enough to, for it to be held in there. So you can see it's being held in there like that. Take the wire and push it in just far enough so that it's flush with the other side. Then you just pull. Sometimes it can take quite a bit of muscle. And you're all finished. The way you can test it is by pulling on it as hard as you can. If you can pull it out with your bare hands, it's not a good enough connection. Now all you need to do is attach it. Put the red wire here. And the black wire here. And you're good to go. Now we'll crimp some power pole connectors. To crimp a power pole connector, you need the following parts. Black and red housing, the two parts you crimp, and the locking pin. To crimp your connector, all you need to do is put it inside the crimper. We'll hold it just a tiny bit to make sure it's in all the way. Then put your wire in. Make sure none of the little tiny wires um, go outside of the crimper. And then squeeze. And you will have a very good connection. Now all you need to do is take the part, figure out which side it goes, um, the one that's curved down that goes this way, so you put it in like this, it takes a little bit of force to push it in, and it just clicks in place, and there you go, you have one of them. Now that you have two wires finished, you have to take them, put them side to side, line them up, and then attach them together. Make sure they're flush, and then put the pin through the little hole in the middle. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get in there. And then just push it in. Now you have a nice solid connector that will not break in competition. Now we'll make a PWM wire. First thing you do is look and see the connectors barely need any stripped wire to hold correctly. So what you need to do is just put the wire in so it doesn't even touch the yellow part. Just about that far and then strip it and you can see we have a nice just tiny bit stripped off. Now separate each wire a little bit and twist them so they do not get messed up. Okay, now that those are done, take your crimper and 
to put the first connector into it. Now to actually crimp the wire, all we need to do is put the wire in here, make sure it's flat. Now if you look closely at the connector, you can see you're actually supposed to crimp part of the wire that you haven't stripped off. So you need to push it in a little bit further than normal. You need to make sure that the wire this way is flat this way. So each of the wires is crimped the same way. Before you do each of your next ones, make sure there aren't any little straggler wires. So now just put the wires in here like this. Takes a little bit of force to push it in. Just push each of the wires in like so. Occasionally there's a stubborn one that doesn't want to go in. So I'm forced to use a precision screwdriver, as I showed you in the tools video, to actually push it in. So just use a little window here and pull it this way. So sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get your connector on, but uh, just don't force anything or bend anything too much and you should be okay. And same as the other connectors, just pull on the end. If it doesn't come out, your connection should be okay.